Men of life is so full, so happy, so abundant. And what is the reason that we should not have this time, space is the reason for that. This person, born 150 years of age, referred to him as Guru Day. He once said to get the human body is so precious. We never waste them. He said there are four million kinds of life. Wish to be a human body. After that, only you become human body. And once you have that human body, you don't realize what's in your body, then it's a waste of time, a waste of life. When I observe the world today, they are not dance or they're not living according to the laws of nature. This is one of the reasons why we are not gaining that fullness of life. Laws of nature from the first ray of the sun, they come to the total knowledge, total Brahman, how to live a life, how to be with nature, and how to be with other life. The rhythm or the structure of these laws of nature is not being fully appreciated due to intellectual information called scientists, modern science. This intellectual information is only partially true. The real truth is beyond conceptual, beyond our concept, beyond our thinking, our reasoning. So how to absorb or lift that truth, then you have to dance with the cosmic rhythm. Dance with the first ray of the sun. The first ray of the sun said, oh, all the animal kingdoms in the cosmic have to get up on a certain time. They're called Brahma Mahur. I mean, between four to six o'clock in the morning. And when you get up that, that, that means every life in the whole cosmic is wakes up from a good rest, then the nature of the law of nature is dancing according to that law. Those who follow that will inevitably enjoy fullness of living. And then once you get up, what do you do? 
you have to do something. You eliminate. You clean up. You prepare your life for the next 10, 15 hours. And this sign called Ayurveda come into play 3,000 years back. Some, some well wisher of mankind, he written down uh, scripture, how to guide uh, life according to the laws of nature called Ayurveda. So all the scripture will tell exactly how to eat, how to get up, how to live, how to live with the family until one passes away. So this kind of knowledge will gradually come back to this channel, Dharma living. It's nothing new, but it's new is we bring back this knowledge in the modern understanding, modern language so that we can we can appreciate it. Ayurveda is not new. Dharma living is nothing new. But what new is now, we have a team who want to promote it. I want to bring the object goal of life into the level that one could see, one could practice, and one could appreciate. Why? So we have morning, late morning, noon, late noon, and evening. Why we have season, summer season, winter season, rainy season, and some area have six seasons, some country have only three seasons. Why? All this is the how the first ray, the structure from that first ray, predict it and manage it and want everyone to flow in that direction. Once we don't have that flow, then consequent suffering, ill health, unhappiness, all these calamities come because we are not prepared to follow the laws of nature. When we don't follow, we violate the law, the consequence, we are not living fullness of life. And someone come and tell us how to believe in the philosophy and religion, they don't tell how to how to live for fullness of life. Fullness of life is you. If you are someone else, or you something else, then you lost. <laughs> Jay Gurudev, I wish that uh, from now on we will continue talking about this. Life as what it is. Who you are. Find out. Jay Gurudev.